for an airplane an airplane for an airplane is flying to the north from port P to port Q for this one into hours so you see this one is going from P to Q so it wanted to go from P to Q where this one is 1200 km in 2 hours the wind blow from the west with velocity of this one so you see here one P airplane from P to Q but there is a wind here which is 160 km per hour find the velocity of the plane without the influence of the wind so you see here so P to Q right so this one is 120 km for 2 hours so velocity for just this one is 1200 km over 2 hours or oh, the formula of velocity is distance divided by time so here we get 600 km per hour so you see here it wanted to go from P it wanted to go P wanted to go to Q which is to the north right but then there is a wind here this one is 160 km per hour so the original velocity without the influence of the wind so it actually wanted to go from P to Q right so if uh, the plane just go from P to Q addition with the wind so you see this one addition with the wind it then it will go to the right not to the north so what the plane should do is that you see here is combined here so it will be going to the left so when the wind push it, it uh, push it it will go back to Q see here so this is the way that the plane go so it go to this way uh, plus the wind then it will go to Q this one so velocity without the influence of the wind so without the influence of the wind this is the initial velocity so we see here this one the velocity is 600 km per hour So we see here the velocity without the influence of the wind or we can say that the initial velocity so initial initial velocity you see here this one is actually you see Pythagoras theorem so this one is third so this one is 160 square plus 600 square you see 160 square plus 600 square so here we are going to get Six hundred twenty point nine six six kilometer per hour, or you can just make it into point nine seven kilometer per hour. So this one is the initial velocity. So original direction of the plane. So direction is calculated. So you see here, this one is the y axis, right? So this one we start zero from here up to here is three hundred sixty degrees. See here. This one to this one is 360 degree where it should start from the y axis. So this one the direction is here. This one is the theta. You see here theta is here. So we know that the angle should be calculated from the y axis. So you see here this one is the y axis. So this is the magnitude of that. This one is the angle of direction. So this one is angle i just write theta a or the angle of direction so how to get this we know that here theta a you see here theta a is equal to 360 right 360 minus theta so we must find what is our theta first so theta is here we know that this one is 90 degree so to find theta here we have this one is 160 and we have 600 we can find we can use tangent so this one this one is 160 and this one is 600 this one is the angle theta so we can use tangent so using so cah tua i hope everybody knows this formula or in even in malay so this one is the line that you should choose so this one is opposite this one is hypo 
hypotenuse, right? This one is adjacent, this one is hypotenuse. This one is opposite, this one is adjacent. Or in bahasa Melayu, this one opposite is, is sisi tentang, adjacent is bersebelahan. So, this one tentang bersebelahan. So, we know that tangent theta is equal to, so opposite or tentang is 160 and bersebelahan is actually 600. You see here, bersebelahan but not a hypo. Tenus. So, here we get theta is equal to tangent inverse. So, this one 160 divided by 600. So, just use your calculator and you are supposed to get 14.93 degree. So, since we wanted to find the direction, direction is calculated from the y axis. So, 360 minus theta. Theta is 14.93. So, here we get 345.0 7 degree. So, this one, the direction 360, this one is supposed to be taught in the bearing uh, in, in chapter of bearing but you know that we remove that chapter. So, but never mind. This one calculated from the y axis. So, direction from the y axis, we start our 0 up to here back which is 360. So, that's why from the y axis up until this line is the angle that we wanted to find.